I'm Deborah Borchardt and this is your Marijuana Money Minute. Are you in the Chicago area and interested in working in the cannabis industry? We will have a panel with a top cannabis recruiter at the Green Market Summit on May 7th in Chicago, so buy your tickets now. Vape distribution company Green Lane Holdings Inc. filed for an IPO of 5.3 million shares with a price ranging between $14 and $16 per share. The company said it hopes to list on NASDAQ on April 18th and the IPO is valued at $80 million. In earnings this week, Green Thumb Industries, or GTI, reported its fourth quarter results with an increase in revenue by 237% to $20.8 million. For the year, GTI made $62.5 million in revenue. The company did experience a net loss of $3.1 million for the quarter and $7.7 million for the whole year. True Leave Cannabis reported its fourth quarter revenue rose 172% to $35.9 million. The company's net income grew a whopping 3,467% in the fourth quarter to $10.7 million. Harvest Health and Recreation is acquiring Canna Pharmacy in a deal with an undisclosed value. Canna Pharmacy owns or operates cannabis licenses in Pennsylvania, Delaware, New Jersey, and Maryland. They recently announced the private placement of $500 million in convertible debentures to continue to finance acquisitions and corporate growth. The U.S.-based investment fund Northern Swan Holdings has completed $58 million in Series D financing, bringing the total amount of capital raised to date to $96 million. The company will be using these funds to expand its Latin American operations, including Clever Leaves, a licensed producer of medical cannabis in Colombia. MPX entered into a definitive agreement to purchase all the outstanding shares of Holy World SA for roughly 13 million Canadian dollars. Cultivator and producer 1933 Industries signed a licensing agreement with House of Hawk, which if you don't know who that is, it is the famous skateboarder Tony Hawk's company and the company's subsidiary Infused MFG for the launch of several co-branded CBD wellness products. And finally, Seattle-based fintech company Posipit began trading on the CSE under the ticker PBIT. The company that serves, this company serves cannabis retailers by delivering Bitcoin-enabled payment processing, point-of-sale systems, and built-in compliance features that are customized to each state. And that's it for this week. I'm Deborah Borchart reporting for the Green Market Report.